welcome to the Art Social. My name is Ellie and today we have episode number six. I'm really excited for this episode because we are actually going to be doing a Halloween theme. So I have a ghost, a very spooky ghost um, that we're going to be working with today. Um, and I'm going to start off with what we need for supplies. So first things first, we need our, our trusty um, paint brushes. So I'm going to start with a paintbrush for the background. I'm going to have a paintbrush that is flat for um, the details and we're also going to have a very fine uh, small brush for the, the smaller details. Okay, and then we also need a pencil or a sharpie today, um, a marker, um, just to draw out our ghost and I'll show you how to do that in the video. Okay, um, next thing is instead of using um, paint for our lettering today, we're going to be using um, this here, it's uh, wooden letters. I got these at the Dollarama, you can get them at any craft store. Uh, and I got the glue as well from Doll Dollarama. So I just uh, bought a pack of these and they last me for a little while because they have more than one letter inside of it. And we're gonna use this today for our um, uh, letters. So today I'm going to be writing spooky on my, um, on my painting and I'll show you exactly how to do that, okay? So next thing is our canvas. We will be using a large canvas today, not an eight by 10, but one of the large ones. Uh, only because I want to put the lettering spooky on it and I think that it would look really nice on a bigger canvas. But you can keep it uh, on a small canvas, that's perfectly up to you. Um, next thing will be our colors. We're going to focus on what colors we need. So over here I have our black and white, uh, which I usually have in most of my paintings. Because it's quite a general neutral color that you can put in with everything. And then we have two different types of green. Um, that's going to be mostly to blend in with the black in the background. And we have the purple, which is just going to kind of give us a little bit of a different color on the ghost as well. But you'll see. We're barely going to see that purple. Okay. Um, I also want to use some of the green for the lettering. Um, so the letters that you saw me um, point out for you. Uh, I'm going to be painting those and then we're going to glue them on. So from there, um, we'll be able to start. As long as you have all of the stuff uh, today, we're going to move on to the next clip to get started. Okay, so now the first thing I want to do is we're going to focus on this um, outline of our ghost because I don't want to do a full black and green background and then have to do a white ghost over top of it. That'll take a long time to dry and the white isn't going to pop off your canvas like I want it to. So I'm using a marker uh, to trace out my uh, ghost but that's only because I want you guys to be able to see it in the video and if I do it with my pencil you won't be able to see it very good. So use your pencil um, that way if you make a mistake you can use your eraser and you can um, take out the mistake and restart, okay? So I'm going to start by doing my outline and I'm going to start at about the middle here of my canvas and I'm going to go up. That's going to be his head. I'm going to make his little arm. And then we're kind of going to do like a little ghost tail, okay? So I'm going to make his other arm go, I'm going to go start here. Like that. So one arm, two arms, his eyes are going to be here in his mouth. And this is going to be his tail. So I'm going to make his tail a little smaller. like this, okay? So if you need to, pause the video here so you can see the outline of your ghost and then you're gonna be able to um, trace it out. Ask a parent for help if you need it. Um, I'm gonna add the eyes in right here just so you can see 
kind of where, how this painting is going to come along. And another eye right here. And I'm going to kind of do like this. Okay. And he'll have his cute little mouth right there. And maybe let's give him some eyebrows. There you go. So trace out your, um, <clears throat> your, uh, your ghost. And then when you're done tracing out your ghost, we're going to do the painting. So we'll move on to that. Okay. So pause the video, trace this up and we'll get to the next clip. So uh, now that you've drawn out your ghost, I've gone ahead and I've dotted all the colors that I need on the background. But as you can see, I did not go inside of my ghost because my ghost is going to be white. My background is going to be some spooky green and black colors. So dot out what you need. Okay, so I've got like a lime green and a dark green and some black, but don't put too much black because it's gonna just take over everything and cover your whole board like that. So um, first things first is I'm going to dab my light colors. Make sure you don't pass that line that you made, okay? Once you dab those colors, oh, I went on to the black, that's fine. I was gonna say, once you're done with those colors, the, the green colors, you're gonna go with the black. So I'm gonna trace around my ghost like this. And it might look kind of silly right now, but we're gonna blend it all in nicely. It'll be really good. Okay. Uh, Trace around. Make sure you don't get inside that ghost, okay? Because we want the inside to be white, like a ghost. There we go, and then we can't forget this part. That's not the inside of the ghost. Perfect. Okay. And I have a little bit too much paint on my brush. So I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and I'm just going to go like this. Okay. Now I'm going to go at the top and I'm going to kind of go back and forth a little bit, but I don't want to do it too hard because I don't want uh, the black to take over completely. I want the black to be everywhere but I also want the green to show up through the black. So I'm gonna do this outline here. There you go. Got that green kind of peeking through there. I'm gonna take the excess off of my brush. There you go. I'm gonna dab in a few places. Just make sure you get those edges. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna start from the edge of the ghost and I'm gonna go sideways. There you go. So as you can see, the effect that I'm trying to do is kind of like a, not a green sky, I wanted a black night sky, but I wanted it kind of like a green hue in it. So. It, Actually, the black is kind of taking over a little bit, but at night you want it to be nice and dark. But I have that green in there so it can give it that green effect. I got too much paint on my brush. All right, like this, like this. And I'm going to cover this little tidbit right here. All right, 
okay? So I have that green popping out in certain spots. I like that. Okay, so I see some green here, 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 here. Um, I do, however, wanna add a little bit more. So I'm gonna take some of this green and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a painting knife and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit inside here, just like that, like that. And just to give it a little bit more color. So I'm going to take the excess paint off off of here. Okay. And I'm just going to very lightly blend in what I just put down on the canvas. See? Looks pretty cool, eh? I really like those light green parts that are coming through. And once you're done blending it in the way you want, you don't have to do it exactly like me. Um, you can add more green if you want. You can make it brighter green. That's up to you. So as my brush is very lightly, I'm not putting any pressure on it. Very lightly going over. It's kind of covering the bigger green parts. I kind of want a little bit of green there. Okay, just to say popping through, just to give it that kind of eerie effect. There you go. Perfect. Now, once your background is done, um, you're going to let this dry before we start painting the, um, the boo guy, <laughs> our little ghost. Okay, so make sure this is all um, taken care of and dry and you can move on to the next step. All right, perfect. Okay, see you in the next clip. All right, so once your background is relatively dry, you're going to be um, focusing on our ghost. So I grabbed a clean brush so that I can uh, paint the white inside the ghost. So this time, instead of dotting the white on, I grabbed a trusty piece of cardboard and I added some white to it uh, just so I can dip and paint. So what we're gonna do now is very simple. I want you to dip and I want you to go ahead and I want you to paint over top of that white canvas. Now, I don't know if you can tell the difference on the video, but a canvas isn't white like the paint. So that's why we're doing white because we want to have that white pop because the canvas white isn't a very pretty white. So we're gonna go ahead and I want you to completely uh, paint inside of this ghost. And if you wanna paint over that black line, that's okay because we're gonna go back over uh, with the paintbrush after once our uh, painting is dry. So go ahead and it doesn't have to be a very thick layer because I still wanna see my line through it. So I'm just going like this and I could still see my line through the paint and I'm gonna go ahead over top of that and I'm gonna trace black with, um, with some paint. So I want you to go ahead and go do a coat of white throughout your entire ghost and don't let that dry, just color the entire thing and come right back to me, all right? All right, so I've completely uh, painted in my, uh, my ghost with the white. So now that I've done that and it's still wet, my paint is still wet, I didn't let it dry, I'm going to uh, put a little squirt of uh, purple there and I'm gonna show you what to do with that, okay? So first things first is because the paint is still wet, we'll be able to blend this purple in so it won't be super, super dark purple. I just wanna kinda um, 
give it kind of like a little bit of a shadow and a shadow effect and I'm gonna do that with the purple but I'm very 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 lightly as you can see I just put a tiny tiny bit of purple and I'm gonna put a little bit um, right here and I'm gonna put a little bit around the arm area just like this and just a little bit at the tail area just like that okay now I'm gonna try to wipe off all that paint off my brush and I'm going to very very slightly blend that in okay so I'm very very lightly pressing so that it kind of mixes in with the white and as you can see I move the paintbrush with the line I twist the paintbrush like that you see that okay I'm gonna add a little bit of white on my brush and then rub it just so I can like clean the brush a little bit. And then I'm gonna go and do my second step. Just like that. And again. And the purple is just to give it kind of another color because just a plain white is, it's a little boring. It's nice to bring in some different colors into your paintings and it doesn't have to be a big change this is a very tiny change and it's gonna just bring some life to our project here. And although ghosts are not really alive, <laughs> it doesn't mean that our painting can't be beautiful and alive, right? <laughs> so I have this beautiful purple just blending in. As you can see, I haven't dipped back in for another color or more purple or anything because now I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna use a little white to kind of erase the purple off my brush but um, you don't need lots whatsoever you just need a very 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 small amount on your brush at a time to do these little accent colors all right so I have kind of like an eerie spooky kind of purplish peeking through in the ghost and I think it looks pretty cool so go ahead and do this on your ghost and when we are done with the purple um, I might actually add a little bit around the head area like here and maybe a little bit here and then just repeat what I what I did okay um, so once you're done with this part here I'm gonna ask you to let your painting dry before you go to the next step because we're going to do the black parts here but if you go over the white with your black it's going to smudge with the white and your black and white is going to turn into gray and we want that black to pop look really good so you can wait till it's completely completely dry and you can go with a paintbrush to do the black parts or you can grab a black marker Sharpie and you can ask an adult to help you um, shape, uh, do the shapes that I already have drawn out here. So like the mouth, uh, the eyes, the eyebrows, the arm, and then once you have that all traced out, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the lettering. So um, let's take a little pause, let's get this all dried up and then we'll come back to the next part. All right. All right, my friends. So now your painting should look a little bit like this. What I did is I uh, finished up letting the white dry. Once the white was nice and dry, um, we went ahead and we traced out the black um, that was coming through the white. We traced it uh, with the paint. Uh, like I said, you could do it with some Sharpie if you want, but I think paint comes out looking way better. Um, up here I we traced it and then we colored it in so color in the eyebrows the eyes and the mouth all dark inside here just so that it pops nice um, and I also took my black paint while I was at it and I just kind of color corrected the edges to make it look a lot prettier because some of the some of the white was going onto the black and some of the black was going onto the white so I just kind of corrected a few mistakes that I made and I fixed all that up 
Now that this part is done, as you can see down below here, I painted my letters for the wording spooky. You could put whatever uh, you want. Um, you can have happy Halloween, you can have ghost. Um, I choose spooky because I think that that would be pretty cool. Also, I said I was going to paint it green, but I did add some, um, some uh, orange because orange is also a Halloween color and I thought that that would look pretty cool if I had green, um, orange, green, orange, green, orange. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I went ahead and I painted those and I let them dry and I'm going to glue them on my canvas now. So I'm using just a tacky glue uh, for crafts. Um, I don't need a brush, I don't need anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you uh, how I'm gonna glue these on, okay? So I'm gonna go with my first letter and I want my spooky word, I don't want it to just be straight up here, I kinda want it spooky looking, just like starting about here and maybe coming down this way. So I'll show you how I do that. So I just take my trusty glue here and I'm just gonna test and make sure that my glue's coming out. Let's see here. Come on. I think it's a little stuck. Uh, sometimes your glue can dry if it doesn't um, get used a lot. So just make sure, oh no, it's not dry. I just gotta make sure it comes through my tube. Okay, let's try this out again. Okay. And there we go, okay? So once you have your glue working, you can go ahead and you can, uh, you can glue your, your letters. So I'm gonna start with my S for spooky. And you don't wanna put the glue where the paint is, so flip it around. And you don't need to put super lots. Um, I'm just putting a very thin layer like this, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start this here. So I have that at the middle at the top. And like I said, I'm gonna have the P-O-O-K-Y going down like this. I think that looked pretty cool. I'm gonna take my P, push down on that glue, go ahead, don't put too much. If you wanna take a brush and put a little bit of glue in a pot and do this, this'll work as well. So I'm gonna do my P kind of crooked like that. Okay, so I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip when I've placed all of um, my glued um, letters on so you can see what it looks like in the end. All right, now that I've done um, the last part by gluing my spooky to the canvas, this is it. You're done. So once again, I just want to remind you that your painting is your own. It might not look the same as mine, might not look the same as anybody else's. It is your own, so you, um, you can add whatever you want to it. You can uh, write whatever you'd like. So instead of writing spooky, you can write happy Halloween. You can write I love candy. You can do anything like that, okay? Anything that resembles Halloween, it's up to you. So I'm going to leave you guys with this, and we're going to go to the um, ending video, and I'll see you guys in a second. Hey everyone, I just want to let you know that I had a lot of fun doing this. Halloween is a very, very special thing for me. It has a special uh, spot in my heart. Um, Halloween is a time where you can enjoy the spookiness of the world. And I think that in a way that is pretty exciting, um, especially when Halloween time actually comes and you can disguise yourself into anything. I mean, how amazing is that? It's extremely fun. I absolutely enjoy it. I can't wait for Halloween. I'm gonna be passing those candies like crazy. Just remember, you gotta stay safe, okay? All right, so let's talk about this thing. You guys did this today. I'm super proud of you. I'm really excited to see what kind of lettering that you guys used, what you wrote if you didn't write spooky. If you wrote spooky, even that, show me that. I want pictures, I wanna see. Um, reach out to me on my Facebook page and maybe I can post some pictures up. I want to see um, other people's paintings and I want to inspire other children and even adults um, in seeing how they can do what we're doing today. So um, take a picture, post it, um, comment, 
on the video down below. Let me know how you're liking the videos. Tell me what I should change. Uh, give me some feedback. Let me know if I'm doing okay. Give me some ideas on our next paintings. I want all that kind of stuff. Okay, so without further ado, I would like to end the episode by telling you guys thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting my channel, myself. Um, I'm doing this because it's something that I really love to do. I'm not looking to be famous or anything like that. All I want to do is for um, my channel to be out there for children and adults um, to enjoy. And I think that that is very special to do. And I'm going to leave you guys with... Um, that very, 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 very big thank you once again. And I want you not to forget to share my channel, share my Facebook page. I will have them in the link, uh, in a link below in the description. And I hope you guys have yourselves an absolutely great weekend. And don't forget guys, stay creative. Bye.